Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A54 and today I will show you a couple of tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So, jumping straight into it, I'm gonna open up our settings and in here we can navigate to display and we'll have a bunch of options in here that I want to show. So number one we have the light and the dark mode, you can swap between them. Uh, not a big deal but under that we have the dark mode settings and this allows you to set it as a schedule so the phone will automatically switch between these two modes uh, based on either sunset to sunrise or custom time now moving on next thing we have is the uh, the motion smoothness which is right here now it is set to adaptive which will be okay for most of the people though because adaptive right here only drops to 60 it's not giving you such a great uh, advantage of some other LTPO displays uh, types which will drop the refresh rate a little bit lower giving you better battery life so if you tend to prioritize battery life and only that I would probably recommend selecting to be standard this will give you a better battery life but unfortunately you won't have this nice smooth motion as you do when scrolling up and down uh, as you can kind of see right here as a comparison. These are a little bit exaggerated, but uh, they do give you a decent visual indication on how this will affect your dis uh, device. Now going back to the next option, we have the screen mode below. Now I personally I think that Samsung overdoes the colors a little bit too much. They're, in my opinion, a little bit too saturated. So I, on at least a Samsung device, always use a natural mode because I just find it to look a little bit more appealing to the eye. Not or actually less appealing, but more realistic would be probably the correct uh, way of defining this. Now, if we go to Vivid and I just swipe to the side, you can see we have a couple preview images. Now, I know the camera won't be picking this up as much, uh, but uh, the colors here on the orange and the grapefruits are for the, well, the fruits are just a little bit out of whack here like they're so severely overdone that they look like they are glowing so in certain other cases this might look better like the aurora Bor borealis but i do personally prefer natural which tones down all the colors and makes this photo look less well more realistic i would say a less eye straining and just better in general it might not affect all the content in this way they said certain things might look worse like this objectively it's less colorful less poppy so obviously it's not as appealing but in certain other cases like this I prefer to have the drawback of having a less colors somewhere and then have content that looks more realistic rather than content that just looks like it's always glowing so that's basically my preference obviously if you prefer vivid that's completely fine stick with that now moving on to the next one it's going to be the edge uh, panel i think it's somewhere in here as well or at least it should be ah there we go edge panels now this is turned on by default it's this little guy right here that i can pull out it's accessible on any samsung device and it will just give you a couple applications that you use frequently uh, or most recent ones and then add ones that you can add right here so you can also tap right here to access all the apps that you have installed and edit them so you can add a new applications if you want to but also you have access to swipe on this which i can't so i'm gonna click right here and try to look for settings for this oh there it was So it appears only when you click on the edit icon and then disappears. Not, not sure why, but you can just tap on this. So we'll take you to the settings and in here, you have access to additional functions of this. So as an example, we can select weather, which comes pre-installed with the device along with several other ones. Uh, keep in mind, uh, you can access Galaxy Store if you're logged in and also download more if you choose to. Though keep in mind, the ones that might actually seem useful will most likely be paid. They don't cost much because they're like about a 99 cents or buck 99. 
uh, but still if you already for instance bought something like a galaxy fold and then you have to pay buck 99 for some trash like this uh, it really gets your gears going so keep that in mind uh, but for just generally these that come already installed and you can use them it's fine so once you add one uh, you can then swipe to the side and as you can see it then adds a new new tile you can just flip between them so there we go now obviously if you don't want this uh, you can access it right here and turn it off so that is under the display and the edge panel and you can disable it if obviously you don't want to you can also make it a uh, panel so we can uh, edit it here handle so here we have transparency so you can make it less visible now i know it's not as visible right now because i have the little screen protector that kind of cuts into it making it obstructing the view of it a little bit but in reality i think it should be a little bit more visible than it is right now just to kind of showcase this right here you can see it right here i have it already edited to make it smaller but you can obviously see this little notch right here so you can obviously change it so let's make it dark as an example transparency yeah, so more transparency there we go you can shrink it so it's a little bit less well taking less space with this is how much it's popping out of the edge and yeah there we go good enough now anyway let's move over to the next option which will be the navigation bar right below edge panel and here we have the button navigation along with gesture navigation. I personally prefer gesture navigation, so that's what I will be selecting right now. And also we have things like the more options below. Uh, there is one neat feature, though it could be getting annoying. Uh, I guess it's something that you would need to test out. It's the uh, gesture hints. As you can see at the bottom, we have this bar and it does give you like this white line that kind of cuts into it. So instead of having it transparent and just having it sh well, show the actual bar and only that, it adds a bezel to it, which is absolutely, I think, stupid. So you can turn that off. But the way it turns it off, unfortunately, is by shifting the content off the screen. Now this causes some problems, like picking up the gestures. It, they won't always pick up correctly. I think this is a bigger problem from my experience. If you're using a third party launcher, uh, then it becomes an absolute nightmare. But I think it might be working okay ish with the Samsung one. It's something that you would need to test out to see if it works uh, well for you. And under more options, you can also try to edit it a little bit further uh, with the gesture sensitivity. So you can make it a little bit more sensitive to all the gestures. So keep in mind, it increases all the gestures. So even the side ones with, with the well, hints being hidden, uh, the sides aren't necessarily affected by this. Uh, so now you probably have a different uh, problem. As an example, if you open up things like Google Maps, uh, or not Google Maps, I'm personally using, let me just quickly showcase this. Uh, because I do have on my phone this cranked up a little bit higher than it is by default. And it poses a problem like this one. If Give me a sec once it loads the app. So I'm just going to select random location and that's just whatever. Good enough. So this is uh, one of the like, Polish applications that I use uh, for just transportation around the city. And once you select one of these, right, it gives you this side bar right here. As you can see, I just went back, even though I didn't want to. So we can move it here. But once I move it here, I actually cannot grab it anymore. So like I said, it causes some problems. So keep that in mind when uh, editing the sensitivity of this. Unfortunately, there is no way to separate this for some odd reason it would be nice if i could increase the bottom sensitivity and keep the side ones as it is but we don't have such an option here now anyway we can move over to the next option which will be the uh just kind of navigate this i'm gonna go back to settings i'm gonna navigate to wallpaper and style and here we have the color palette all right over here now the option that i personally like is the color palette uh, that is based on a wallpaper. So once you enable it, you will have the wallpaper colors. So whatever wallpaper you actually have set, like this one, it will pull the colors off of it and give you the same colors all around now. Just 
select enable or apply. So it did change the text right here to be a little bit different. You can also swap between the color palettes that we have access to. So let's just go with this one. As you can see, the buttons are brown. And yeah, I can just set different wallpapers. This will pull the colors from it or like the primary colors, uh, meaning ones that dominate the wallpaper and then give you just a nice aesthetic along with your wallpaper that matches it. And moving on to the last option that I wanted to show you, it's going to be the motion and gestures. Just go back into the settings, scroll all the way down to advanced features. There we go. And here we have somewhere we should have, there we go, motion and gestures. And we have a bunch of different things that it can enable. Now, these are all the default settings. So that's how it should work, look for you. So all the same things that I have enabled, you probably have enabled as well. But I have a couple of things that are disabled. Obviously, if you don't want some of the things that are enabled, you can turn them off. And just to kind of go over a couple of them, we have lift to wake. So when you pick up the phone, it will wake up the screen. Uh, double tap to turn on screen. Uh, so just double press the screen and it lights it up. That's a pretty neat option that I personally like. And double tap to turn off the screen, not so much. Uh, keep screen on while viewing. This basically uses a front facing camera to see if you are looking at the device. And if you are, it will keep the screen lit up. Now, moving on, we have a couple additional things. Obviously you can go over them. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show is the side key, which is right here. Now this will allow you to get back your power button when you hold it. Now this is for people that don't necessarily use Bixby. So if you don't tend to use this, then that's for you. If you do, obviously this would kind of turn off the accessibility for Bixby and you'd have to literally find the application and then launch it through that. So probably not the best option for people that tend to use this. But for everybody else who just doesn't like it, doesn't use it, you can select right here, power off menu, when you press and hold your power button. And now we have our normal boot menu here. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.